There is great energy in water, power that not only carved the mountains and laid out the plains, but then dissected those very plains. In Wyoming, there stands a monument to the erosive force of water. To the Indians, it was the home of the bear, Mateo Tipi. The sides, they said, were marked by its enormous claws. It's volcanic in origin. It's solidified from molten lava, forming a plug exactly here. But the surrounding layers of rock were then much higher, high enough to cover what's now the top. So this column, as a molten mass, pushed itself up within an existing plane and then cooled, forming these polygonal columns just below the surface. This rock is much harder than the sediments that eroded from around it. And because so little rock scree has broken from it over so long a period of erosion, it's thought the tower, when formed, wasn't much larger than at present. The mark of water is everywhere on and below this land. These pits and fissures are called sinkholes. In them, water collects and sinks underground, flow through the limestone below. There is sometimes a way into potholes and caves. The roof of this water-carved cavern collapsed, creating a deep sinkhole from which the water slowly percolates, seeping down vertical joints, forever easing the rock further open. The land 